When they're demonstrating to us that they're not going to play by the rules and they're not going to give us accurate reporting, then we have to take um, very swift action, and that's exactly what we've done. Mayor Lightfoot making it clear today they will not tolerate providers not following the rules when it comes to distributing the vaccine. The message coming after the city pulled back all of its vaccine from Innovative Express, accusing them of giving doses that were set aside for Chicago public school workers to non CPS employees. We have a team of reporters digging into what happened and the fallout. Let's start with Chris Ty, who spent the day going through the contract and joins us live with a little clarity. Chris. Brad, Erica, Innovative Express has a number of these bright colored facilities all over the city, but this winter they popped up four vaccination centers inside four CPS schools to vaccinate faculty and staff. The focus of this story is what did they do with the vaccine that didn't end up in the arms of faculty and staff? Innovative, for their part, says the contract didn't spell out every detail, but we looked at that contract today and it turns out that may not be the case. Hello, I'm Dr. Rahul Kare. Six weeks before helping administer the first shots to CPS staff, Dr. Rahul Kare's Innovative Express Care entered into this $5 million contract with the city. A partnership shuttered last night when the city's Department of Public Health claimed Innovative knowingly misallocated 6,000 doses to non-CPS staff, a move deemed unacceptable. Dr. Kare defending himself on social media. CDPH officials never made it clear to us as a provider that we should be storing vaccines in a refrigerator for people awaiting second doses. This makes no sense to us. CBS2 obtained the contract, which reads in part, the vendor shall only use COVID-19 vaccines provided by CDPH at the COVID-19 vaccination centers for individuals identified by CPS as eligible to receive COVID-19 vaccines. And that excess vaccines will be offered to CPS employees in accordance with the order of subgroups. No mention of non-CPS workers getting that vaccine. Neither Kare or the city responded to our requests for an interview today. Union leaders say there were warning signs. There's a Crane's article from February 12th titled, quote, How One Doctor Fights the Pandemic Profitably, end quote, which should have been a warning sign. Innovative is for profit, and it is defending itself, saying no CPS staff were ever denied. We always ensured that there were enough allocations for additional doses for all of CPS employees. There are still a number of questions left unanswered here tonight at six o'clock, namely what vendor is the city now using now that they're no longer using Innovative? The CEO of Chicago Public Schools, Janice Jackson today, Erica reiterates any faculty or staff who wants a vaccination can still get one. Yeah, and Chris, we've both been reviewing this contract, discussing it throughout the day. Innovative Care not talking to us, but we have plenty of questions. One, of course, centers on why Innovative decided they had the power to even choose who else could get the vaccine. Those non-CPS people are not provided for at all in this contract. That's right. At the end of the day, the vaccine always belonged to the city. This outlet was sort of facilitating the vaccine. The city saying it wasn't up to you to decide what to do with any extra. And then late today, Dr. Arwady, the city's top doctor, and the mayor herself saying that there were great irregularities with how Innovative operated, how they shared information, how they shared all of the things that they were using between the city. Particularly, Erica, they said they would actually fabricate and say sometimes they needed second doses, which as we all know are really vital to sort of close the loop with patients, when they actually use them as first doses for folks who were not IDPH sanctioned patients. Yes, and to your point there, Chris, Dr. Arwady saying there were ongoing irregularities from Innovative. So we want to know how long was this even going on, especially since Innovative gave over 6,000 doses to non-city employees. We will continue pressing for answers. Thank you, Chris.